ladies and gentlemen, we live in a world where being able to balance education and extracurricular activity comes in handy. And Glorious Fountain Academy in Thika has managed to do exactly that. They won a trophy, world trophy. They are the world champions when it comes to karate, karate world champions. They had three peoples that represented Kenya and those three peoples have also performed very well in the just released Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. My name is Juliet Modoni and today we are in Glorious Fountain Academy. We want to find out how they have managed to remain the top. You are most definitely watching a 3T TV which is Thika's number one online news channel where we are telling the Thika story as it is. I hope that by the end of this particular segment, we will have given you a good reason enough to subscribe to this wonderful channel. So let us dive right into it. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for finding time to sit with us. Thank you too for coming. I know you are very busy considering the KCP results were released. Sure, sure. Before we go any further, introduce yourself, uh, give us your name and the role you play at Fountain Academy. Thank you. My name is Lydia Mukoi. Professionally, I am a teacher. I have been a teacher since 1991 when I graduated from Kenyatta University. Coming to Glorious Fountain uh, full time, that happened from year 2005 when I resigned from being a tutor at Kilimabogo Teachers College. Mm -hmm. yes. So you are a tutor? You are a tutor? Oh yes. I take charge of uh, quality when it comes to work in my school because I have interacted with P1 curriculum, I have interacted with ECD curriculum, and when it comes to our standard, I take charge. Awesome. And that is actually reflected on the results that uh, we can see. Please take us through how many students did you have and how did they perform? Okay. KCP 2021 class uh, constituted 40 learners. Our top best learners scored 420. The list had 340. The school mean score is 385.3. Out of 40 uh, candidates, 10 of them scored 400 and above. That is outright admission to national schools. Then we have 29. 29 of them scored 350 and above. That includes many at 390s, 380s, or that. Our last one scored 340. And for sure, that is very high mark, uh, honestly speaking. This is mark that can comfortably take this child to a, a very good performing a county school like Thika High School. We have no doubt about uh, him being admitted to a good uh, extra county school. So basically all of them will be absorbed very well, effectively, in good high schools. The way we have attained our mean can tell you that we work with all our children. We do not put so much emphasis on the top best. We equally give support to the middle ones and to the bottom ones. For instance, the one who has attained 340 marks and a few others in the middle there, I can tell you, they have, str they have strong personalities. Mm -hmm. They are well built in their self-esteem because any time we compete, we take note of even the slightest improvement. And we move out there literally to uh, commend them, uh, pat their backs, encourage them, and show them we are together in the journey. In fact, I cannot forget about a boy who was literally just lazy. You know the way a uh, boy child these days are. But I can tell you it has taken a lot of diligence, a lot of commitment to encourage, to motivate, 
and to assure them that they are on the right track. Even when they feel discouraged, they are a, bit, a little bit low, we are there, you know, championing them up, assuring them, and here they are. In fact, they have outdone themselves. Some of them are extremely very happy. And we celebrate with them because it's not been an easy journey, but seeing that all our efforts have borne these fruits, we are just very, very thankful to God. That is quite impressive. And uh, from the trophies that I can see, you have very many trophies. So that sure. means you have been topping. Please give us briefly uh, how you have been topping even before we came to the counties up to, up to now. Thank you so much. In fact, since our pioneer KCP class back in 2008, mm -hmm. we have always been at top 10 within Thika, uh, Thika West. And last year, uh, KCP 2020, we managed to emerge the top best in Kiabu County. In fact, I got a call from the County Director of Education Kiabu congratulating our school for making uh, her county to shine. So over the years, we have performed well. We have, there is no single year we have failed to, uh, to have learners joining uh, national schools and good extra county schools. We are so grateful to God about that. That is, that is good and we are happy to be associated with this school in the fact that it is in Thika. You mentioned about quality. Take us through the preparation with the peoples and the students. And uh, also, you could also give us the struggles that uh, you faced when preparing the students. Okay. In fact, preparing learners is not easy. First of all, you have to help, you have to help them to believe in themselves. You have to be afraid. You have to bled. So many, uh, in so many areas, uh, so that you work together. So there are those children who need to be lifted, there are those who need to be pushed, others need to be talked to. And like the whole of last term, we had a resident counselor coming on a weekly basis uh, to attend to their areas of need. So we counsel, we guide, we pray for them, and we do a lot together. In fact, as I thank our teachers who did so much uh, for us to realize this, uh, this marks we have realized, let me tell you, uh, Madam, that our teachers had teams, had uh, extracurricular games which they were playing with the learners. Male teachers, female teachers, we had football, we had basketball, and you could not differentiate who is a teacher, who is a learner, that is a body. I'm talking about. Mm. It was not easy, but we made it. And they were so dedicated to it. And eventually, you can see, even the very last one has managed to score marks that will place him into a good school. We are so grateful about that. Awesome. There's, there's a very good balance in the performance of, of the, the students. I'd also like to talk about these extracurriculum activities because you know, it's mind-boggling that you manage to have a team that is a world champion team in karate. Yes. And when it comes to class, they're also managing well. Yes. How do you achieve that balance? And how does that make you feel? You know, balancing is not easy. But you also know that when children are so much are contained in class and with elaborate learning every day, they also must push their body. They must exercise. So we do not give them an option. When it comes to after school activities, and especially our, our boarders, who, uh, who are candidates also, you know, we have to encourage them to join different activities so that they, they get spent. The body, the mind is already tired, having been in class uh, the whole day. So you encourage them, those who feel like uh, are not willing, you work with them. Sometimes you also find us here uh, running with them and they get excited and gradually we win them. By the way, we are good friends with our learners. Ours is a CF school, child-friendly school.
So we are still at Gloria's Fountain Academy that performed extremely well in the just concluded Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. We want to talk to the teachers and the peoples at, as well. Don't forget, Gloria's Fountain Academy is in Happy Valley Estate that is in Thika Town. How are you doing? I'm good. What is your name? My name is Teacher Everestas Stein Ndubi. Let's stick with Everestas. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, uh, you were the class teacher? Yes, I was the class teacher of uh, Class 8, Glorious Fountain Academy, the year 2021-2022 academic year. I like the way you're saying it so proudly. How many people did you have and how do you feel about the performance? Okay, I had 40 learners and I'm very proud of my class. They have made me proud. They have taken the day and they are the leading in Kiambu County and we are very happy to have 385.3 at the school in Minsko. Tell me about the journey. Yeah, we've had corona. So how were you doing the classes? What challenges were you facing? Yeah, we've had uh, challenges uh, during Corona. We used to have the online classes. Our school is, it has a website where we conduct our classes online. And then when we came to school, we used to have the joint exams. We used to have very many exams. And above all, we really pray to God and we thank God for the journey. And uh, all the challenges, we were able to overcome them. As a school, we are very happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. What are maybe probably some of the notable challenges that you could remember? Now, the challenges was uh, during the online classes, as you know that uh, not all learners could be able to access the internet, and not all the learners could be able to have their phones. So, as a school, we had even to invite some of them to school, so that uh, we can provide for them some gadgets, and then to avoid that contact-contact relationship. Yeah, during that time. So you went above and beyond? Yeah, we really did much and even we thank our administration and uh, the management. It really helped us a lot. It was able to provide some gadgets for the learners. Now, could we say this would be probably the highlight of your career as a teacher? Yeah, I'm proud to be a teacher and uh, all my staff is proud to be, a te to be teachers and we do our work diligently and with passion. I love that passion. I can see you're flanked by quite a number of students. Uh, I could probably start by you. What is your name? My name is Lavin Katali. Uh -huh. Lavin, you're a people here. Yes. And uh, how, what, how many marks did you score? I scored 420 marks. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Very happy. Very happy. How has the preparation process been? I will not say it has been easy, but... I am grateful for the outcome. And uh, moving forward, uh, what would you like to tell the teachers and also your parents? I am very thankful, first of all, for everything they have done for me. This funded and 20 is not for me alone, but for everyone who supported me. Yeah. Thank you very much and we wish you all the best. And what is your name? Um, my name is Aisha Onjiro. How many marks did Aisha score? I scored 420 marks. That is awesome. How does that make you feel? I feel very elated. Uh, at first, I did not believe it. I could not believe that I managed to score that such marks, but I just thank God. <laughs> and how has the preparation process been? It has been well. I really think the teachers, uh, they've really taken... A big part for me to get 420. Uh, I also thank the management for making our learning conducive. Uh, even the extra curricular activities that we used to play, like basketball, apart from studying, they really helped me. So, apart from studying, I also used to play, and that took part in uh, scoring my marks. Awesome. That is refreshing to hear that apart from studies, Aisha also used to play. What are you doing? Fine, thank you. What is your name? My name is Anul Vega. Vega, how many marks did you score? 402 marks. That is quite impressive. How do you feel? Uh, I feel so happy. What do you have to tell your teachers and parents? Uh, for my teachers and parents, I'm so grateful for what you have done to me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm so grateful. So, so I wish you all the best. Thank you. So we are still at Glorious Fountain Academy and right now we want to talk to a gentleman who is at the helm 
of running and basically starting this school, the vision bearer, so that he can give us more about the journey. Let us get right into it. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you for finding time. You're very busy at this particular point with the KCP results are out. Um, thank you. We are, we are, yes, we are busy attending to the parents, the pupils, and we're also very busy celebrating, blowing our trumpet because we have worked very hard and um, there's a time for everything. We have worked very hard the whole year and uh, since we've done well, it's only right that we take time to celebrate and, and breathe out. I totally agree with you, by the way, it is a well-deserved uh, honor. Before we go any further, please introduce yourself. My name is Paul Mukoichege. Uh, I am the CEO of uh, Glorious Founding Academy. When we started this school in the year 2000, we started with our own two children. We had dreams when we got married. And one of the things we were saying was uh, our children will learn in our own school. When the first year was ending, we had seven pupils. That's the year 2000. Now, number-wise, we were, had very few numbers. But in terms of contentment and, and joy, we were, we, were, we were joyed because our dream had come to be. Our children were, were in our school. And the school that we had uh, dreamed for many years about had finally come to be. By the, sec by the end of the second year, 2001, we closed the school with uh, 27 pupils. 23 years later, the school has gone up. We have seen growth uh, to about uh, 700 pupils that we are serving this time. And we want to thank God that uh, we have held true to the values that uh, we wanted to impart to these children. I am a fulfilled man because we have seen children being transformed. <laughs> Telling the thicker story as it is. Until next time, take care.